Hi, this is Catcom1 here, and welcome back to more Descent Enemy Vignettes Paid in the Ace difficulty. This is Level 8, The Sewers. Paid, starting with only the Level 6 Quad Lasers and 4 Concussion Missiles. No other items or weapons until I find them in the level. After you grab the power up in the scouting room, you want to stand as far back as possible and get ready to take out the mule behind the door. Now I like to put a Malco in this door and just peek on one side and start sniping to take out an acolyte and then take out the try and take out the other acolyte on the same side. Then you don't have to have quite as much tail taking out the acolyte on the other side because you won't be in the force fire. Now there are a ton of enemies in these sewers both above and below this beginning level which I'm actually going to call this level of the sewer the beginning level there are a ton of robots in the enemies above and in the levels not in the enemies above and below this beginning level we mantids I just destroyed one of them can come from the level above Two mules can come from the level above. Two messons and four mules can come from the levels below. That's a lot of robots. So just peek in and out and yeah, they will rush you sometimes. Actually, it's correctly, it's not two Metsons, it's four Metsons that can come from the level below. The Metsons are the robots that shoot the red fire helix stuff and have the energy pulse. Now, see that I've killed two of the Metsons. That one I felt, I just killed Metson number three. There's Messon number four on the mule on the other side. And I'm running low on energy, which means I need to get... Oh, and every once in a while, yes, a Legionnaire will show up. In fact, this time two Legionnaires showed up, which I haven't had happen before. But that's stressful. The Legionnaires are the new robot in this level and they're dangerous because they shoot both plasma and the fast moving Merkel in their soul. The Legionnaires usually come from above but there's one well below as well. I need all the energy I can get. Oh, there's still a mule left above. Now we want to get above here because that's where the energy center is. There's another mule above. There might even be three mules in the level above. Now watch this nook to the left because there's a pipe on in it. We want we don't want him to break out. Those two energy boosts. Now the two, the two, um, Legionnaires we dealt with most likely came from this energy center room. But when the level starts, this energy center room has another mess on in it, which rarely comes out, and two Legionnaires, which sometimes come out. 
So I always assume they could be bought in the energy center room. But in any case, the first thing I do is just shoot straight across and take out the mess gun. Then I search with the guided missile to see if those legionnaires step in. They're out, as I suspected, because two legionnaires watched, watched us early on. That's where they came from. Usually they don't force watch me at the same time like that. That's a spread fire cannon as well. Now if you look at the door out of the room, to the right, the wall to the right of the warning low gravity sign is a secret door having two homing missiles and a head light. And now it's time to... Oh, there's another fuel that made it to the next level down. I would have been much luckier if I'd emerged on this side and the mule would have been opposite me. And then keep shooting to see if we can destroy anything on these lower levels. Because I believe there's another legionnaire. But more importantly, if you can't see the legionnaire, right at the bottom of our fuel cells are four lads which shoots mouth missiles on Phoenix and is very dangerous, so we want to destroy it and its sapples as soon as possible. And also, to my death, in this nook, there's another hidden cycle that we don't want emerging. Now, I wish I could see the legionnaire that I'm pretty sure is all the way down there. He hits me, he will kill me. I'll use another guided missile to try and get his attention. Nope, he's not on that side. Where'd the Legionnaire go? Take him out already? Well, it's both using another guided missile to find out. Look at both sides of this battle. Yup, it looks like the Legionnaire's nowhere to be found now. So we must have taken him out already, taken out three Legionnaires at some point. Let's just check all the levels. And the stout room, too. I'm gonna take my Malco out because I don't want anything born going into the stout room by chance. Okay, looks like at some point the other third le the legionnaire that stouts at on the below level was destroyed. Now, I divide these suos up into four layers, each layer, each of these areas that has the great tank in the middle being a layer. I call this the blue door layer because there's a blue door. And then there's this kind of this in-between area I don't call a layer. Then I call this the red door layer because there's a red door. I call this the stout layer or the entry layer because it's where the south of the level is. And I call this top layer the E layer because the exit and the energy center are bought on this layer. Now also from the E layer we can get the blue key, but first grab these proximity mines and place one next to this wall and the one apple and, and the one in the same position on the opposite side. Because pipos 
will be opened up on both on both sides both sides when we get the blue key now I still like to aim my shots at one side and just hope on the other side the pipo is typically taken out by the mine we play see he tried to run out and he was taken out by the mine they could be taken out by the mine on both sides, but I still like to fire towards one side because I'm able to. Now let's venture down to the bottom level of the sewer, which is also the blue door level. Actually, before, on the way down to the blue door level, on the red door level, if you stand at the red door and then turn yourself around and then go to the left, there's a secret behind this waterfall with an energy boost, a full map, and the super laser upgrade. So here's a look at our map. And then down at the blue door level, before we go behind the blue door, we have the half pit cell. And now, what you see behind those grates and what's shooting behind those grates is the reactor room, but I suggest you don't try to snipe from here because it's dangerous. And in an outtake video I posted, a Mokoi missile got through the tiny grate and hit me directly from a legionnaire. Now behind this blue door there's at least two acolytes. And a pipo. Two acolytes and a pipo. And they're the only two pre-placed shield boosts in this level. Now, I like to orient my ship this way. Get my... Do not get go near the red key. Take out a guided... Mag, select a guided missile. And when you fire through this grate, turn away from the water. The water is hollow, but you still want to turn away from it. To hit this panel. We'll get where it opened up in a, just a little bit. Now, when you get the red key, this wall and this sort of in-between level that I don't call a layer will open up revealing a Maxin and activating it. I placed my other two bands in front of the Maxin to help slow it down some. Then I use my walking to just take the robots out as they swarm from the max then. Legionnaires and mules are common. So I guess you could call this little in-between area the max in layout. Now behind the red door, we have a huge assortment of robots. Use some guided missiles. I want obviously I want the mantis to come towards me. And there's at, at, at the farthest creatures, those war lads which I ate a spout missile and died in the same outtake one that I posted. Same one I ate the Mokoi missile in. So make sure you get those ballers. You must clear at least one side of this room. There's no need to actually go in the room for anything, but do 
shoot out those knights because they opened the wall with two more going there. So, and then remember that switch I used the guided missile to aim at. That opened these walls on each side with four Mulgoy missiles and the Smouth missile behind one and two Super Laser upgrades behind the other. And I'm saving here only for purpose of a later one, not to... Not because I'm using any saves in, the, in this one. This is a no-save one. Now, one, one side of the reactor room is clear. You can just snipe off the reactor, but make sure you don't look in on the other side if you don't plan on clearing it. And make sure you dodge the reactor shots as well. The reactor takes quite a bit to snipe off. Little more because I bought in the quad laser. And then with the reactor dead, we just we turn up to the E level or the top level. And we can go in the exit. And this is actually the ideal time for me to do that save I wanted to. I just did it earlier in case I forgot. And that's level 8. Ugh. I didn't get all the hostages. Oh well, I missed a hostage. I won't say full rescue is absolutely necessary. I'll just show it from that save actually. I know where the hostage I missed is. But as you saw, I already had a, an outtake for this level. But this is a tough level. Especially early on because you've got all kinds of stuff going on in the sewers between the various levels. The robots just moving around. But it's still a fun level and well designed in my opinion. And it actually really reminds me a little bit of the second secret level from... Descent 2 Counter-Strike, the original Descent 2, and Dark Flame Wolf in his video actually called this level a filler, but I don't consider it to be a filler myself. It isn't one in my opinion. Now stand by for the host for as I show the final hostage, I hopefully have enough time to get down and back up. Yes, I may as well just introduce right now that the next video will be level 9, the riverbed. But as I show the final, and that's actually what I did my save for, because it's easy to just empty all my excess ammo at the end of the previous level, as opposed to the beginning of the new level. But 23 seconds, I should be able to make it down and up. Self destruct and Hostage I miss is nine, right eight, in this crevice of here. Five, four, I'm not three, gonna make it back up. Self destruct and T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, zero. There. You can see my full rescue bonus now. Thankfully, I don't build these as a full rescue run, so I don't have to call it a failed run. But I showed the full rescue and managed to even show it in the same video.